Hi there. Today I would like to teach you how to find the domain vertical asymptotes and the horizontal asymptotes of the following rational function of f of x is equal to 2 divided by 5x plus 2. So first thing is, why don't we focus on the domain? Domain is relatively simple. Remember, when you're thinking about domain, you're thinking about what are the possible values of x that this function can have, right? And you're thinking about are there any values of x that I cannot plug in here that'll give a wacky result overall? Well, it turns out that there is one result, one answer here that will give a wacky result. What do you know about a fraction and the value that you can plug into the denominator of a fraction? Do you know any restrictions? Precisely, right? You cannot have zero down in the denominator. In other words, I'm asking myself now, what value of x will give a result of zero here? Now, it's a little hard to do kind of in your head, so what you do is you set that up as a math equation. You do 5x plus 2 equaling 0, and now solve this for x, because if you solve it for x, you're going to find the value of x that sets this bad boy equal to 0. So subtract 2 from both sides. You're going to get 5x is equal to negative 2. Divide 5 out from both sides. And now you get x is equaling negative 2 fifths. So this is a value that x cannot be it will give a zero overall result in the denominator. And what's two divided by zero? I don't know. It's undefined. So the domain here, and then there's no other restrictions, right? There's no other restrictions here. So we can say the domain is gonna be all real numbers, all real numbers except for uh, negative two fifths. Cool, that's basically that. Now let's take a look at the vertical asymptotes. Now the vertical asymptotes, it turns out, uh, since we did the domain already, the vertical asymptotes are actually nice and simple. All right, The vertical asymptotes are going to be those values uh, of x, again, that give a wacky result over here in this function. In other words, that will give the denominator a value of 0. Now we already did this uh, by finding the domain. Now the only difference is this is the x value that's not included in the domain, all right? And this will also now represent the equation of the line that creates the vertical asymptote, okay? So we kind of, we kind of uh, you know, instead of saying killing two birds with one stone, we ate two desserts in one sitting, all right? So here, uh, what I would do is now I would just write that this is the equation of the vertical asymptote as well. Okay, so it's the domain. Well, it's not the domain, excuse me. This is one of the exclusions of the domain. So specifically, this result here is the just the vertical asymptote. All right? And okay. Now, uh, last but not least, we're going to do the horizontal asymptote. So what do we need to do when we think of the horizontal asymptote? Well, what you want to do is we, we first have to define what type of a function we have here in terms of being bottom heavy, bottom heavy, whether it's equal or whether it's uh, top heavy, and maybe I should have reorganized this, right? Bottom on the bottom, top on the top, right? Now, what do I mean by top equal and bottom heavy? Well, when you look at the function, I want you to locate the x's of the function and locate the side of the fraction where x has the highest power. Now, since there's no x in the numerator, we would say that this thing is bottom heavy because there's an x in the denominator. Now, if you had an x in the numerator, and it was to the first power, and an x in the denominator, and it was to the first power, that's considered equally heavy. And then if you had x squared, let's say, on the numerator, and just x in the denominator like that, that would also be considered, well, not also, that would be considered top-heavy now, okay? So we have a bottom-heavy function. Now, bottom-heavy functions are relatively easy. You can kind of memorize this. The horizontal asymptote will always be y equaling zero. In other words, what you need to do is you need to take the limit. Oh boy, the limit, right? But it's easy, watch. You wanna take the limit when x approaches infinity, okay? You wanna think about what happens to this function now? What happens to the function's value when x becomes infinitely large? Well, if x becomes infinitely large, what happens is the denominator will become infinitely large and if you take a finite numerator and divide it by an infinitely large denominator, you get a value of zero. Zero. It's going to approach zero. So in other words, the function's value, y, will approach, or f of x, right? f of x and y are basically tomato, tomato. Um, it will approach zero. And this is now known as your 
horizontal asymptote. Okay, so that's how you go about that. Now, we can always check with our calculator. So why don't you go y equals, right? Do 2 divided by now parentheses. Everything's got to be in parentheses, 5x plus 2. And let's see what we come up with. Hit graph. Look at, look at this, right? Let's go to another page here, and let's bring this on in. So remember we said that our horizontal asymptote was going to be at y equaling 0. And notice... There's a beautiful horizontal asymptote here right at y equals 0. We also said that there, sh that there should be a vertical asymptote roughly around negative 2 fifths. Right? x equaling negative 2 fifths. And doesn't that look like negative 2 fifths? Yeah. And that's it. That's all it is. Okay? Thank you so very much for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. And if you can, you know, maybe tell some of your friends or classmates. Your classmates, if you tell them about our channel, your classmates might become your friends. You never know. All right. So thank you, everyone, so much for all the support. We really appreciate it. We look forward to doing more videos. We have a ton of stuff out there, not only math, but chemistry and physics as well. We have a lot of stuff coming. Stay tuned. Always check the descriptions uh, down below because we're going to leave a lot of uh, stuff down there for you to help you through your class. All right. We love you guys. Take care.